Buford. Yes, sir. I saw I left. I thought you were through. Well, I thought so, too, but you're dealing with a very treacherous guy, and you all just must not even come in quoting him anymore, because he's a no-good son of a bitch. And I think you know it. But he announced tonight he would ask Johnson to provide sufficient officers to protect the Negroes. He appeared for the joint session, and he says that... Uh, uh, that the uh, uh, federal government, uh, they say our courts are too slow, Wallace said. Therefore, we must now submit to mob rule. It's a tragedy and a sorrow beyond words, but the federal judge compounds anarchy by ordering the state to protect the army. He said tonight that he would ask Johnson to provide protection for Negroes marching from Selma to Montgomery. I intend to call on the President of the United States to provide sufficient officers to guarantee the safety and the welfare of citizens in and around the route. The federal government has created this matter. They can help protect it. Wallace told the television. No, no. Can you get that open? Juanita, please get off the phone, honey. Well, I'm not going to talk to him anymore now. I'm through with him. You know. Well, you better tell him you're not. Tell him you're not. Tell him you read down the ticker. And I've been leaving since 3.30 messing with that son of a bitch, and he is absolutely treacherous. Well, I told Burke Lee all the way through that I didn't trust him and, and everything. So I'm just not going to answer any call to him or talk to him. Well, I'd answer one and just tell him, now listen, George, uh, uh, I offered you, I went over to President Day and told the President that I'd talk to you and you wanted help. He called you and offered to give it to you. Right. You ran like a goddamn rabbit. Then you ran down to the television and told them that uh, we had created, therefore you're going to ask him. Now, why didn't the hell didn't stand up like a man and, and say what you're going to do to begin with? Well, I tell you, that it's all right with you. I'm not going to answer his call. If he keeps calling me, I'll wait till in the morning where I can record it and see. Because I, I told him all the time. Come over here. You can record it. Anyway. Well, I, I'm going to record it from here. That's the way I've been doing it from my apartment. Uh, I didn't do the, you know, why yeah. yeah. I would do it. I would do it, and I'd talk to him. I mean, now he he start calling me in a few minutes, and I'm just not going to answer. No, him I don't think I don't think I think you ought to. I think you ought to answer him tonight. Just say, uh, now, let me tell you, George. I just want this for the record. Yeah. You call me up, and ask for help. I offered to give it to you. You ran like a rabbit. That's right. That's right. Well, now then you went publicly and you said this. I don't know whether you mean it or whether you don't, and if you do, I, you uh, you come out there and put it on the record, because I'm I've got the record. I won't, I'm not going to be double crossed this one. I will do. I'm going to issue a statement here that kind of burns his tail. I'll ask him to call you and give it to you. Okay. Good.